Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how we can retrieve the parameters that are passed using the type save navigation in your view models. So let's jump into Android Studio and let's see how we can do this. Before continuing, I need to tell you that my goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you find my videos helpful, please hit the subscribe button. It doesn't take more than 3 seconds. So enough with this and let's get back to the video. Okay, so here let's jump into the build.gradle.kts from the app module and let's click on this dependency first so we need to add the compose navigation and make sure that you have the let me check 2.8.3 version and in the libraries also add the serialization json and this has the version 1.7.3 and make sure to also add the plugin that has the version ref the Kotlin version. You can have any Kotlin version, so make sure to use this one. And don't forget to add them in the build.gradle.kts from the app module. So we have the serialization JSON and the compose navigation. And you also need to add the plugin here. And with that all said, let's jump into main activity and let's implement the type save navigation. So let's remove the greeting and the greeting preview. Let's remove these two. And now we need to create the nav controller. So let's say nav controller is equal to remember nav controller. Okay. And now we need to create a nav host. And this will host the navigation. So let's say nav controller is equal to nav controller. And the start destination for now we will let it empty because we need to create two routes. So let's say data object and we have the home screen and we need to annotate this with serializable serializable and now we need to create a data class to retrieve a parameter from the navigation so let's say profile for example and we will retrieve the username and let's annotate this with serializable to make it a route and pass the start destination home now let's create the composable, so let's say composable and let's pass the class home and here we will have a box that centers a button. So let's say modifier, fill max size, open the curly brackets and simply add a button that says go, wait a second, because I, uh, I did the wrong thing, go to profile and here let's say on click nav controller navigate and make sure to pass the profile as a route and inside we will put the name of the user so let's say daniel okay and now let's create the second route so composable profile let's create a view model by saying class profile view model and we will have the private ball save state handle okay and let's inherit from the view model from the view open the curly brackets and now we can have a parameter that is the name so let's say var name is equal to mutable state of an empty string and now in the init block we will get the parameter from the navigation so we need to say save state handle handle it oh, sorry to route and simply pass the screen so let's say profile and now let's say wall args and now we need to assign the name of value so name dot value is equal to args dot name okay and now let's add the view model and let's create the screen so let's go here and let's say wall view model and let's simply say view model and pass the type so let's say profile view model and now let's create a box and let's center this so let's say modifier modifier field max size content alignment center and now let's say text and hello user and let's put the username here so your model name dot value 
and now let's run the app and see how it looks okay so let's navigate to profile and let's see okay so it says hello user and daniel so it worked perfectly and if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this see you in the next video